Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and I hope you are all doing well. In today's video, we are going to continue with our microservices development and I am going to set up Swagger in my Spring Boot projects. And this is really helpful because it allows me to document my API. So let's get started. So to get Swagger working, there are a few things that we need to do. So the first thing that we need to do is ensure that we are importing the dependencies that are required for Swagger. So I'm importing the Spring Fox Swagger UI and the Spring Fox Boot Starter. And for consistency, I'm actually managing my Swagger version in my root POM. So I'm not de defining the version over here, but because I'm inheriting this POM from my parent POM, I have basically defined the version for the Swagger and the UI in my parent POM. And I have also included those dependencies within my dependency management section in the parent form. So that's the first thing that I need to do. And the next thing that we would do is we need to inject the Spring Fox configuration. So I have created a class called Spring Fox config and I have annotated that with add configuration. And then in the API bean, I'm basically returning and building a docket with the Swagger 2 documentation and it will basically document all the requests and it will document all the paths and it's building my Swagger documentation. And that's pretty much it that we need to do in terms of the configuration. So it's pretty straightforward. So in order to test this, I have added some information in my API. So I'm building my API and I'm returning a bunch of endpoints. So I'm returning some information where I, when I hit the makes endpoint, it returns me a list of car makes. And similarly, when I uh, hit my models endpoint, it will return me some models based on the make of the car. So let's go and test this out and see how Swagger behaves. So my car info service is already running. I'm just gonna go in here and hit my endpoint. And it's running on port 8082. So when you're hitting the Swagger UI endpoint, you just need to go into the path Swagger dash UI. And that loads my API documentation. And you can see here that I have the car info resource and it exposes these two endpoint makes and models. So let's say I want to hit the makes endpoint. I can just try it out and execute the request. And once the request is executed, it returns me a list of car makes. So that's all I need to do to set up my Swagger. So I hope you find this video useful and thanks a lot for watching.